how do you feel here in Kona as a new team, first of all? Uh, so far, I'm just uh, very excited to be here, very, very uh, happy to be in this uh, city. It's a, it's a, it's a very uh, beautiful city to uh, live in, and the uh, team's been great so far, so very happy. And uh, it's not your first time in Europe because you've, you, you went to live and play in Europe kind of early in your life. Yeah. Uh, could you please remember how did those first months went here in Europe, in the different continent? Um, my first year in, in Europe was um, very hard with the COVID going on. So like, like when I first got there, I was coming out of college and it was just like a very new experience for me especially with um, the coronavirus and just being on lockdown you can't really go anywhere you can't really do anything so like that first couple of months for me was very difficult and you have one year in israel uh, so you had kind of enough time to see european basketball uh, could you please tell the main differences that you feel like for uh, is, is it different from america's basketball for me personally like When I play basketball, like basketball is basketball, like at the end of the day. So for me, it's not it's not too much different. I just I just go out there and just play basketball the same way. But obviously, I, like it's different than the states. It's more uh, physical. Um, it's not not as many foul calls. Um, it's like some different rules. Like when you, when you shoot the ball, like it it's actually legal for you to go and tap and tap it off the rim, and just like small things like that are are uh, different than the states. And what about the physicality of the game? Yeah, it's just it's just more physical. Like I, I feel like over here, like the um, refs like let players play more, like through contact and bumps. While in the states, where if you get a bump or any contact, it's an automatic foul. And Wikipedia says that you were skateboarding. What's that? Was that professional? No, 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 not professional. But it was definitely something that I loved to do growing up. It was probably like my first love was skateboarding. It just like something that like you know caught my attention before basketball did. So yeah, it was something that was very big in my life growing up. And what about playing American football? Uh, I played football for like a couple of years, like at a very young age, but. It wasn't something that I was very good at, or something, or something that I was very serious about. It was just something that I just played as like a, as like a side sport. So, so when did you start playing basketball? I started playing basketball um, seriously, like my first year in high school. Why did you choose basketball? Um, honestly, I, I chose basketball because of my sister. Like my sister played basketball before me, so like just like watching her grow up, and like watching her be so successful at it and do so well kind of was like, you know, something that like, you know, seeing that, like, I was like, you know, I want to follow her, her footsteps, you know, you know, and do the same thing. Josh, what, what have you heard about uh, Lithuania itself coming, uh, before coming here? Some things I heard is uh, very cold over here, like it's, it's very cold in the um, winter, but um, some other things I heard is like a very, you know, beautiful city, it's a very calm city, very, um, you, know, you know, very quiet, and also I heard that The the, uh, the city or, or the country gets dark very early, like around four in the afternoon, it starts to get dark. So yeah, those are some of the things I heard. Is it the coldest place that you've ever been? Uh, I'm not sure yet. My first two years in college, I I, I uh, played in a, in a in a school that was very cold, but you know, we'll have to wait and see the difference. Josh, uh, what main aspects made you really think about joining Jolly Gris and then later on actually join it? Um, some main things is just like the the team overall, like the team is very professional and is very uh, well run. Um, the the fan base is very very good. It's a, it's a very like you know, it's a super big fan base that's you know very uh, su supportive of the team and then uh, coach as well. Have you ever had some some kind of amazing fans in your career? Uh, I think maybe like high school, like my my my, my uh, fans were were good, but. Ever since then, not so much. And uh, what main aspects would you like to improve by yourself in quite uh, quite some time? Uh, just like parts of my game that, I, um, for me, just like you know, improving on everything. Just, just improving on like you know, every part of my game is uh, like something that I'm trying to focus on right now. Just getting better every day at um, everything, really. And be, and being a part of a team that's uh, 11 time champions of this league, is that a pressure or motivation? 
Uh, it's not pressure. It's, it's something that, you know, kind of excites you to be able to like, you know, keep the same tradition going. You know, it's not, it's not something that I feel pressure. It's more so like, you know, excitement or like a, like a challenge. Like, you know, okay, like let's do it again. And what would be your main message, message here for all the fans in Lithuania, especially Xavier's fans? Uh, I'll say my, my main message is, man, I, I'm going to come in and play hard. I'm going to compete every night. Um, whether we win or lose, I'm going to bring the same, uh, the, the same focus every game, which, which is going to be intense, which is going to be hard and just, you know, give it all I got. So that's my message.